we are looking at the voices, okay? At least be loud enough for somebody who is on the chalkboard to hear you very well. At least be loud enough, okay? Good afternoon. My same name is that one. My name is Devola Aite. I work in Uganda with UNAD Association for the Deaf. I'm a board member and Secretary General for the World Federation for the Deaf. This is a class for sign language interpreters and we have uh, interpreters who are doing both signing and voicing in, in the community for deaf persons and for hearing persons. What I was doing now is about voicing, that uh, you look at uh, the signer and you are able to explain or to interpret that using your voice. Uh, in so doing, you have to be mindful of the language that you are using, the quality of the voice, and the culture of a spoken language. Mm. Nixon, how is it? For the voice, I have tried my best. The voice, huh? Members, do you regret his no. voice? No. No. Huh? no. What would you say? His voice only, out of ten. Nine. 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 Wow. Nine. I think that's really very good. Yeah? That is very, very good. Yeah. Now, which other comments on the uh, challenges that you realized? Is it okay when you're interpreting, like, the way he said, my sign name is that one, like, for the people around? <laughs> my sign name is that one. <laughs> Especially that now you are facing the yeah? he the grammar there was actually wrong. When you're talking about someone use the first person, you put yourself in their yeah. shoes. Yeah. He shouldn't have said that, but this. Mm. Each one uh, is given an opportunity to voice out, and I usually want the other colleagues in the classroom to also participate by mentoring them, advising them on how best they could uh, produce uh, quality sound.